record. Welcome everybody. This is the Day Trading Genius Daily Review for December 13th, 2018. Uh, our goal is to show you that you can make money in a short period of time in, uh, in the stock options. Now we're getting close to Christmas. It's 12 days away. And uh, what happens at Christmas is a lot of the people on Wall Street have had a uh, either a good year or a really rough year, and it does so they're either celebrating or they're drowning their sorrows, and they're going to parties. And so we tend to find these times of years similar to uh, Christmas, although it's probably a little bit more than than the summer, uh, to be challenging. And of course, one thing to think about if if you're uh, a successful trader using our software and our training and our coaches you may decide that hey well, i should take three weeks off at christmas and you know keep an eye on the market but generally speaking just enjoy the fruits of my labor and uh, that's certainly what you could do but our goal is to show you that even in choppy days days where things are kind of going up and down and sideways there are opportunities so i'm scott Patton, your host and joining us is coach jay how are you doing today coach jay getting ready for some eggnog Absolutely. Getting excited for the holidays and even excited on a day like today. You can see here on the basket, much like what Scott was saying, this market went nowhere today. For the most part, there is some good runs in there, but look at this sideways as sideways can be. So tread uh, carefully in the market on uh, 12 13 if you're going in replay to practice and you can see here that it's a choppy day and obviously a low low range of movement and low volume but there is always little nuggets and the day trader genius software along with the coaching kind of shows you how to find some of those nuggets so let's take a look at a few today We are going to start off with Adobe first thing in the morning. Let me get out of five minute candles here and go back to two minute candles. So Adobe's kind of bumping along, but it's got some interest and you're seeing some decent sized candles and some volume here. So this software is kind of piquing our interest and saying, hey, look over here, there's a potential trade. So we're gonna keep our eye on it and see if it's gonna make a run. So it's starting to pick its head out, peek its head out of this little bit of resistance that we got here. And this is where things can get exciting and happen fast, especially in a high volume day with a lot of range. And today's a low volume with low range. So we are going to be cautious and keep our eye out, not get too eager, or too greedy, just zooming the lens all the way out to what's going on. Like Scott, like you said, people are in the holiday mode. It is starting to happen. So let's take a look. I'm going to go ahead and get in here. And in one minute, we're at 13% on a choppy day. I am going to call that good and close on 13% in one candle. Yeah, I'm like, I just about, uh, you can't see, but my jaw dropped, my eyes popped. I go, whoa. <laughs> Yeah, they're there. And the setup was there shown by the indicators with the software, with the proprietary indicators, that this was building into a good situation. So yeah. take advantage of it and don't get greedy. 13% in one minute doesn't mean 30% in two minutes. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Let's do that 13% in one and you know, close the trading computer if you're one trade a day kind of guy. And enjoy your family and get started on the holiday season early. Yeah, that's a nice little bonus. And then going the other direction, the the tide of the the joy of the season only lasted for a little bit in the morning, and then uh, as you saw in the basket, it kind of 
went down and went sideways. So we're gonna move forward here and take a look at Lulu. And here we are looking at Lulu. Lulu's running down to a significant point. And so we're gonna wait and see what happens. Is it going to continue to go down or is it gonna bounce? And it went through. It did, it broke through. That's significant for us and has piqued my interest. So let's move forward and see what we see. Now here we are at 1040 and I'm interested in saying thank you at 11% and calling it a day. We're starting to get into some resistance. You could see that there was a little hesitation. There was a fight here, deciding which way was it gonna go? Was it gonna go back up and meet its kind of equilibrium point? Or are we gonna keep going down? Well, it decided to keep going down, but lots of times you'll see in the market, there'll be kind of a last push or a last hurrah to try and you know, get it as far as it can go. And when you see that kind of hesitation and then a push, I don't like to stick around to see what the uh, potential rebound or just the potential of, of, that, ha of that continuing or, or going the other direction. In other words, somebody's pushed really hard is that if you were to push somebody, you were in a struggle and you were to push somebody they're either going to fall down or they're going to come back at you with even more strength the other direction <laughs> i don't want to stick around the outcome of that action we can so have a nice big green candle next minute is what you're saying yeah so i'm just going to take that uh, that energy and go out on a high and so right. go ahead and close now at 11 percent Moving forward as we like to take a sneak peek every now and then. And there we yeah, go. There it was. <clears throat> Pushed back. Yeah, the buyers came back with just as much force. I don't like messing around. If I'm, if I'm making it through this, I'm not going to wait around for the outcome of this. Yeah. That's a great analogy. You push, you push down. But are they going to push back? Yeah, probably. Yeah, let's let's just let's push them and get out of there instead of waiting to get pushed back. <laughs> All right. We're going to head towards our our Fang stock and a little bit later in the day, which lots of times on days that move sideways and later in the day, unless there's something significant going on, sometimes you won't see much happen. But we're going to Switch over to five minute candles so we can see this unfold a little bit without so much noise. So we're staying so, with Lulu. Yeah. Okay. Bang was moving down. And you can see here it had had a pretty big, pretty big drop there. There we go. All right. So with Fang, we're gonna keep an eye on Fang. And we can see where Fang went down to for the low of the day. And since then, it's kind of just been bumping around. Hasn't really done much exciting for us. But things can change, and it's already kind of given you a little indicator of, you know, where there may be a, a bounce, or it may push through. But if we're up above it, we may be looking at, you know, this kind of area as a potential exit strategy because it's already told us, hey, we didn't like going down that far and we came back up. So 
So we've got a good candle going down and we've got some of the background colors popping on, which starts to pique my interest. And it's continuing in that direction. Let's get in and move forward and see where Fang takes us. Whoa. That is a nice candle and it's definitely worth a look at getting out right here. Yeah, because you've hit that low from before and you've got a volume spike, which can be the end of a trend. Absolutely, but it also can be the beginning of a trend. The considerations here is just overall in the day, you guys aren't able to see it on this screen, but overall in the day, the market itself is not only on the day it's gone sideways and the basket's reading low range, very low volume, but the market itself at this current point in time is not very strong and not very favorable to this trend continuing. So regardless if it continues or not, it, it doesn't matter. We're gonna take our 9% on a day that's not really that good to begin with and start drinking eggnog. We'll close that out, we'll move forward. I can tell based on a few things that this one probably will continue. But let's see, it does continue for a little bit longer and then it'll probably break. Yep. That had a lot of energy in that candle in a five minute candle. And as exciting as it would have been to stay in longer, I, I'm guessing that that's somewhere around 15, 18%, somewhere in that neighborhood, I'll take my known 9% instead of the unknown 15%, which could have turned into a negative 10%. Exactly. Yeah, you don't wanna be ruled by greed. No. And you may be saying, well, that's only 9%. Well, but look <laughs> at the rest of your day. Not only that, if you can make 9% on your money every day, four days a week, uh, who would not be happy with that? Right? I'm, I'm with you. I don't, I don't know anybody else that would argue with that. <laughs> <laughs> your banker is not going to give you 9%. So we're looking at three minutes, nine minutes total, and roughly at 33% on the day. Beautiful. So okay. even on choppy days, the software and the coaching can really help you find and see these trades to where you can consistently have good trades. Excellent. Thank you, Coach Jay. This has been the Day Trading Genius Daily Review for December 13th, 2018. And uh, we're here to show you that in a short period of time, you can make a significant percentage on the money that you trade and that you can do it consistently. But you need to have the right tools, you need to have the right strategies, the right coaching and mentorship, uh, the right mindset. And all of these things are uh, available to you they're possible, but you really need to make a strong commitment. You really need to immerse yourself into the program and into the training and into the coaching. And oftentimes the, the reason we keep stressing the coaching is we people self-sabotage themselves all the time. You just have to look at the National Enquirer, the front page, and you'll see uh, terrific examples of incredibly rich people destroying their lives. Uh, it's in the news all the time. Uh, you know, you've got scandals going on all the time. What is that? That is people saying, oh my goodness, subconsciously, I don't deserve this, so I'm going to destroy my life. And if you're not careful, you will do the same thing no matter what, whether you're trading uh, stock options or whether you're trying to be president of a company and working the 40-hour, 40 40-year 40 plan, doesn't matter. You're going to come to a point where things are going to turn on you just like the market turns and you're not going to understand why when you have somebody who's really really experienced really understands the market really understands the mentality of traders and can see 
those things in you that you can't see, then you have a really good opportunity to turn everything right around and achieve what you consciously think you want. You have to understand that your conscious mind is about 5% of the decision-making power of your brain. The rest of it lies in your subconscious and your unconscious. And we don't know what those are. So you really need someone else to help you with that. And that's why we emphasize the coaching uh, so much. Because we know people that have that totally understand the software, that totally understand the strategies, and they totally lose their money. And we ask them, what, what, why did you, how did you lose your money? I didn't follow the rules. I didn't follow the strategy. Why didn't you? They don't know. That's because it was their subconscious saying, I don't deserve this. So you do deserve it. And we want to give you the best opportunity possible to, it's our Christmas gift to you. <laughs> we want to give you the best opportunity possible to achieve those financial goals that you want to achieve, that you deserve to have. And, um, and that's why we do this. We want to show you over time that there are opportunities to make money. And we also want to show you that there are opportunities to, uh, to grow in a way that you can actually accept the money that the market basically gives us every day. So thank you for joining us, everybody. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.